So, you've joined the Free State Project and you're ready to make the move to New Hampshire and get active for liberty. But where should you make your new home? Well, here are 130 plus reasons to move to Keene. In addition to the new and creative ideas self-starting activists are continually creating, Keene has become home to several regularly scheduled activism opportunities, including Nightcaps, Robin Hood's Parking Meter Rescue, Calling WKBK's Talkback, and Television Production. Activists also participate in numerous outreach events around the community, such as middle school, high school, and college outreach. To share the message of liberty and educational freedom with the youth of Keene, Keeniacs have also regularly supplied jury nullification info outside the Cheshire Superior Court during the monthly FIJA outreach. There is rarely a shortage of opportunities for courtroom activism. Twice yearly, activists gather in Keene's Railroad Square for free Keene Fest. At this popular event, you can enjoy some food, shop, and pick up all kinds of pro-liberty educational materials from the gathering's many unlicensed agorist vendors. The event also features games, live music, socializing, and opportunities for reaching out to the community. You may even choose to try one of Keene's most famous forms of activism and do some pro-liberty civil disobedience. Keene is the world destination for pro-liberty civil disobedience and non-cooperation. Activists have been arrested for all kinds of things that, of course, do not involve a victim. And if you're going to do disobedience, Keene is a great place to get arrested because the jail here is pretty nice as far as jails go. The brand new Cheshire County House of Corrections is run by Rick Van Wickler, a law enforcement against prohibition speaker. He tries to bring as much humanity to an inhumane system as possible. It's still a jail, but there are many across America that are far worse. Keen social activity and community involvement. Every week, activists gather multiple times to forge friendships and help the community. Social Sundays. Free Keen karaoke. Movie nights. Monadnock Families for Liberty. These are just some of the ongoing social events for Keene activists to enjoy. Keene is also home to the historic 420 Cannabis Celebrations, where activists and regular Keeneyacs have gathered daily in Central Square to openly smoke cannabis in defiance of the national war on drugs. The fund started publicly on September 23, 2009, and has involved upwards of 100-plus participants. Only a few arrests were made in the beginning days, and since then, police haven't bothered anyone smoking in the park any time, day or night. It's a major civil disobedience success story that has generated a lot of local and national media coverage. Activists in Keene also involve themselves in local charities through activities like Community Kitchen Volunteering, The Homeless Shelter, and helping out at Keene High School's Project Graduation. Keene is the Liberty Media Capital of the World. No one has dared challenge this claim. Covering all mediums, activist media outlets include Free Minds TV and Radio, Free Talk Live, LRN.FM, the Liberty Radio Network, Anarchy in Your Head, the New Hampshire Free Press, The Crap Campaign, and FreeKeen.com, Keen's Challenges. Activists that come to Keen should be prepared for a challenge. Challenges in Keen include its high population of socialists and status, the high property taxes, its representatives have been ranked constitutional threats, the strict zoning board, crackdown on property freedom, and there is a need for more housing for incoming activists. Keen's advantages and opportunities. It's not all doom and gloom. There are many advantages activists can find when they come to Keene, including Keene cops, who tend to be more tolerant and easier going than their thin blue line brethren in other cities. Through activist outreach such as meetings, demonstrations, protests, and the Keene Police Hugging Squad, Keene police and activists have come closer to creating mutual respect and understanding for each other. Other activist advantages in Keene include a large community of free marketeers, voluntarists, and agorists. Local bureaucrats are less anonymous than those found in bigger cities, so they have to be a little more friendly to keep up their image. The establishment has become confused, angry, and unsure of what to do about the liberty activism in Keene. A failed attempt at a hit piece blog resulted in more publicity for Keene activists. The small size and easy entry requirements give in-the-system activists a wide open opportunity for political activism. Keene is also an easy place to run a political campaign. And Keene offers multiple activism opportunities to spread the message of liberty with Operation Politically Homeless. Cheshire TV, local radio stations WKBK 1290, WZBK 1220, and WKNH 91.3. The Keene Sentinel. And there are often openings for jobs and internships within local old media organizations. Keene Area Info and Demographics. Along with being a great place for liberty activism, Keene is a great community to live in. 
It's big enough to have the amenities and comforts of a city, but small enough to be named the most walkable place in New Hampshire. There are urban, suburban, or rural living options. There are plenty of restaurants and places to shop, sports and recreational activities, community events, and lots of educational opportunities. Not to mention, Keene is a stunningly beautiful place to live. So if you're ready to make the move to New Hampshire, be sure to consider these 130 plus reasons to move to Keene. I should be in Keene, New Hampshire with the Free Staters. 